What if I told you that this condition kills millions of people a year, mostly children and elderly? What if I told you that uh, this condition is easily treated and preventable using a common available element that you have in your home? Would you be shocked? I was and I am, you should be too. Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Today we're going to tackle the crucial topic that affects us all, especially during these scorching heat waves, dehydration. Stay tuned as we explore why water is vital to life, what does water do to your body, what does dehydration really is, what are the signs and symptoms, and who is at risk. I have a bonus question at the end of the video, stick around, you don't want to miss it. Let's dive in. Why water is vital to you. Wilderness guides often refer to the rule of three, which says that a person can live for three minutes without air, you can live three days without water, and three weeks without food. In fact, up to 75% of your body weight is made of water, even though bones are 31% water. Who would uh, guess that? And a whopping 85% of water makes up your lungs. For the average person of 7 kilogram man, if you have 70% of your total body weight is water, it's we're talking about 13 gallons or 49 liters. What does water do to your body? Water makes saliva. You need to eat. Water aids digestion, get rid of waste products, and lubricates your joints and cushions or bones. Water acts as a shock absorber for our brain, for our spinal cord, and if you're pregnant, for your fetus. Uh, Water balances your body's chemistry and electrolytes, and they are kept in a very tight control. And water regulates the body temperature, it keeps your body from overheating, especially with the exercise. As you can see we cannot live without water. But first things first, what exactly is dehydration? What causes dehydration? So every day you lose water through your breath through your skin, perspiration, through your urine, through your stools, even if you are at rest with no physical activity. And for your body to function properly, you must replenish its water supply by consuming beverage and foods that contain water. Dehydration occurs when your body loses more fluids than it takes in. It's as simple as that. Very simple equation. We can lose it quickly with a profuse sweat if you have high fevers, if you have gastroenteritis, vomiting, nausea, diarrhea. You can use through urine with certain medications, even uh, diuretics called water pills. If you have high blood pressures, you have congestive heart failure, you may be one of these medications that actually pushes water out of your system. And certain diseases like diabetes, mellitus, and other type of diabetes called diabetes insipidus would eliminate a lot of water. What are the signs and symptoms? Let's look at adults. And sure, let's look at adults first. Adults will complain of excessive first. So you're gonna have a dry mouth, dry tongue, dry skin, dry cough. You could have neurological issues. You could have headaches. You could have confusion, delirium, and the extreme cases could develop into a coma. And you could have muscle cramps, heat intolerance, or have a dark colored urine instead of the normal pale, clear urine. And you're gonna have an increased heart rate and eventually low blood pressure. You could do a skin test if you pinch your skin and if it tense and doesn't go down, then another sign you may be dehydrated. What about children? They will have dry lips, dry tongue, dry skin, no tears if they cry. They will have sunken eyes, sunken cheeks, and sunken abdomen. They will even have a sunken spot in their infant's head. They will have irritability and rapid uh, breathing, and no wet diapers for several hours. All signs that a child could be dehydrated. Who is at risk of dehydration? Anybody, in fact, could become dehydrated if they don't drink enough water, obviously. But infants and children are at much higher risk and may not be able to communicate that they are thirsty. Elderly people, adults 65 and older, are at high risk as well. First of all, they do not carry as much water in their bodies as when they were younger. They may be sick, not be able to uh, drink water. I vividly remember a patient who had, I was training in New York City, who came in extremely dehydrated with life-threatening uh, sodium in the blood called hypernatremia and kidney failure. He lived alone, he was elderly, he got sick and he could not drink water. He was found by a relative that brought him in. We obviously had to treat him with lots of IV fluids to reverse the situation. That's why it's crucial to understand how 
to treat and prevent dehydration. Here's a bonus question. I promise you at the beginning of the video. How much water do you really need? So every day we know we lose water regardless. Even at rest, your breath, your skin, your urine, and so on. So if you have to replenish that water supply, if not, you're gonna run a deficit. The standard rule is eight glasses of eight ounces of water a day. It's about 1.9 liters. It's, you know, easy to remember, but obviously it's not accurate because the amount of water you need, it depends on your weight, in your age, climate, level of activity, and not talking even if you get sick, if you're vomiting, diarrhea, or high fevers, you'll need a lot more. If you're pregnant, if you're breastfeeding, you're going to require a lot more water. This rule does not apply to everybody, obviously, but gives you an idea. An exercise will make you sweat, requiring you to drink, obviously, a lot more water to avoid dehydration. If you exercise in hot weather, obviously you're going to even lose a lot more. So it would be a good idea if you're going to exercise outdoors during these uh, heat waves, you want to do it early in the morning or late in the evening when the temperature obviously is a, a little bit lower. And if you want to learn more about exercise, check this video, exercise what type, how much, I'll put a link above in the description below. So how much fluid do we really need? The U.S. National Academy of Sciences, Engineering, Medicine determined for men, but 3.7 liters is about 15 cups. And for women, 2.7 liters, about 11 to 12 cups. And remember, this is total water, including the water you come from foods. Dehydration is a really serious issue, responsible for thousands of deaths in the U.S. and up to 7 million global effectively mainly children under the age of five you need to stay cool stay safe stay hydrated and then remember your health is your most precious asset take control i forgot something drink less age more